Hi friends and welcome back. So I was tagged by Kayla from Obs and Lala to do the TMI tag and I figured I gotta pre-film some things in case I like go into labor early or something. I don't know. So I'm gonna I'm gonna just answer some questions. We'll see how this goes. First question, what are you wearing? I'm wearing a t-shirt that I just got from Forever 21 and I really like the color because it matches my toenails at the minute and then I'm wearing these um, I'm not gonna stand up I'm like too pregnant and it's just not gonna work out but I'm wearing um, olive green are they called harem pants from H&M ever been in love of course how much do you weigh so not a fair question since I am like a billion months pregnant but I will give you my weight at the moment it is it's big it's 83 kg. What the heck is that? I don't know. Any tattoos? Nada. Any piercings? Yes. I have three. I have one in each ear and then I had my belly button pierced many moons ago. I took that out so it doesn't really count, does it? So two. OTP. I don't know what that means. And I remember Kayla knew what that meant and I was really impressed but I don't know what that means. Um, favorite show? Um. Well, at the moment, I've been obsessed with Sister Wives. Favorite bands? Hmm. I must admit, I feel really out of touch because I'm constantly watching kitty shows and listening to ch like kid music and all of this stuff. So I'm a little out of touch, but my favorite band, I really like Dave Matthews Band. I like, who do I like that I would listen to? That's all I can think of at the moment. I'm kind of boring. Something you miss. I want to say cold weather was the first thing that popped into my head, but that is such a farce because when I was back in Canada, I was like, this sucks and I never need to experience this again. So what do I miss? What do I miss? I miss my sister, I think, at the moment. I think she would be really fun to have around with my babies. So yeah, that's what I miss. Favorite song? At the moment, it's Beyonce's Drunk in Love, and you should see me bust out the dance moves with this giant belly, too. <laughs> How old are you? 29. Ah, I'm going to be 30 soon. Oh, what's my zodiac sign? I am a Taurus, through and through. Quality you look for in a partner. Hmm. Would probably have to be sense of humor. And when I say sense of humor, I don't mean, oh, he like laughs at things. No, no, no. Like laughs at the weird things that I laugh at. So, okay, let's be real. I'm going to say a backbone and a weird sense of humor. And if you got those two things, you're going to make it in my books. Because I can be a bossy monster. And so you need to have the balls to stand up to me. So, favorite quote. Put the door on, put the door. This too shall pass. <laughs> Who said that? Is that in the Bible? That is my parenting motto. That is my, that is my thing, my mantra I'm going to say as I'm going through labor because not my favorite thing to do. Um, so yeah, probably favorite quote at the moment. Favorite actor. Meryl Streep is like, she's always She's always a hit. Every movie that I see of her, I just always enjoy it. So, definitely. Oh, favorite color? Um, I like green a lot, which is probably obvious because my whole outfit today is green. I like green and I like pink. Um, yeah, those two colors. Loud music or soft? At this point in my life, probably soft music would be the best. Where do you go when you're sad? To bed? I don't know. I don't usually get sad. Sad. I'm like the type of person, I just deal with the emotion as it's happening. If I'm sad, I'm going to cry. I'm going to have a couple tears. And then maybe if I've had a good cry, cry, have a little nap. You know what I'm saying? How long does it take you to shower? If I don't have to wash my hair, it takes me like literally five minutes. So fast. I probably shower faster than both my husband and my daughter combined. I can be in and out in like seconds. If I have to wash my hair, which occurs occasionally, then you gotta tack on like 10 minutes because I have a lot of hair and honestly it takes forever. How long does it take you to get ready in the morning? Hi, mommy. Hi. I would say it takes me like 20 minutes because if I take a five minute shower and then about five minutes to get dressed and another 10 minutes just to like put on a little bit of makeup and do my hair. So yeah, 20 minutes. My husband will probably beg to differ on that one, but whatever, I know I'm right. Have you ever been in a physical fight? I used to fight a lot with my brother growing up, but not really like a physical fight. 
Do I look like a fighter? I don't think so. I think one time. Like, fighter! Whoa, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> ah, I think there might have been like one yeah. time in a bar when I was, I don't know, 18, but not really. Let's be real. <laughs> turn on? What's a turn on? A man that can cook. Because let me tell you, <laughs> I must have been a man in my past life because you can get to me through my belly. Turn off? Turn on. What's a turn off? Turn I think on. a turn off, this might be a weird one, but just the inability to have a good conversation, you know? Like, your looks fade, stuff fades, but this, this intellect and the ability to converse, it don't. Well, I'm sure it does. The reason I joined YouTube, I guess the reason is I wanted a hobby. I, I've always been like a hobby type of person, whether it be dancing or just some sort of sport or whatever. And so when I moved to Malaysia and I had my daughter, I was like, okay, I'm a mommy, but I'm still like Amanda, you know, and I like makeup things and I like parenting things. And I really wanted to get involved and feel that sense of community. So that would be why I joined YouTube. Fears. Well, it's probably involving my child. Like I don't want anything bad to happen to her. So that is all encompassing. Last thing that made you cry. Uh, this was just like the other day, but it was thinking about being in the hospital with my new baby boy and having to leave my daughter at home and just worrying about her. I know she'll be fine, but I just worry about her because her and I are very close and I put her to bed every night and I'm like, how is she going to do this? But she'll be fine. She will be fine. Last time you said you loved someone, I don't know, 10 minutes ago, I'm pretty free with the love. So I love my baby and I tell her probably like 10 times a day. So yeah, not long ago. The last book you read, I don't remember. It's been a while. I'm reading a lot of pregnancy books. So the book I've been flipping through is yoga for your like mommy and babies, but that's like not a book. I don't know. The book you're currently reading, the same book. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm basically all about pregnancy at the moment, so I haven't really read anything beyond that. Which is a shame because I love to read. I just don't find the time, or better yet, I don't make the time at the moment to be reading. So we'll see if that changes. The last show you watched, I just watched the Bill Maher uh, documentary uh, called Religu is it Religulous? Religulous? Anyway, it was really good. The last person you talked to, like the last little person I talked to was Esme. <laughs> and the last big person I talked to was my husband last night. The relationship between you and the person you last texted, that would be my sweet friend Danielle. And we're like soul sisters, you know what I'm saying? She just moved here from, well, she's American, but she moved here from Singapore and her and I are like super tight. So I love her to bits. Favorite food. First thing that comes to mind is like shish tauk, chicken and tabbouleh and garlic sauce. And oh my goodness, all these yummy, yummy foods. The place you want to visit place you want to visit. I want to go to Italy. That's the first thing that popped into my head. The last place you were was Canada. I went to go see my family. It's been a very long time, so that's where I was last. Do you have a crush? Uh, yeah. And I've been married to him for a few years. <laughs> uh, last time you kissed someone. I don't know. I kiss Esme a thousand times a day. I kissed my husband yesterday, so there you go. Last time you were insulted. Yesterday I was shopping and this man like tried to cut in front of me in line and he was like this older man and I just thought the balls on this asshole because here I am like nine and a billion months pregnant alone with a toddler and he's gonna cut in front of me? Let's just say I gave him a piece of my mind. <laughs> Favorite flavor of sweet? That's a weird question. Favorite flavor of sweet? Well I just had some honey Teddy Graham crackers and those are delicious so I'll go with honey. I don't know. That's a weird. I, I'm not a big sweet fan. You know what I'm going to say? I'm going to say lemon because I love lemon cupcakes with like lemon butter icing. Oh my God. I love lemon loaf. I love lemon, lemon things. So lemon sweet is good in my books. What instruments do you play? Well, I can play the recorder like most people on earth. Um, I can also play the clarinet. I played it for five years in the high school band. The last sport you played? Um, the last sport I played... It's been a long time since I've done a sport. Does dancing count as a sport? I was doing ballroom dancing in Canada, but that's not really a sport. Oh my. <laughs> I was a cheerleader. That's sort of a sport. It's so weird because I love sports, actually. I like to play 
those types of activities, but I haven't done an organized sport in a really long time. So last song you sang was probably Roar from Katy Perry, because when I was getting ready this morning, we put that on my iPhone and Esme and I were rocking out. So yeah. Favorite chat up line. <laughs> probably because my husband used to make me laugh with this one, but this is probably my favorite. I would walk over broken glass through a pool of lemonade to get to you. That worked on me. My husband, see what I said about the sixth sense of humor? Go back to that a question up there. Yeah. Um, have you ever used it? <laughs> no. No. I use it on my husband regularly and it seems to work, so that's good. But last time you hung out with anyone. I tend to be a pretty social person, so when did I last see somebody? Today is Tuesday. So probably on Saturday, we had a barbecue at my friend's house and it was really fun. There was a lot of us and some kids and it was great times, good food, you know, all the good things. Who should answer these questions next? Who hasn't done this tag? It's kind of been floating around for a while. Who should I tag? Um, tag Jamie from Jalen Mama. Is that her name on YouTube? Oops, I don't know. And I think I'm gonna tag Michelle from I'm a Mommy of One. That's the only two ladies I can think of at the moment. They're the first that popped into my head. So yes, I'm gonna go with those two. But if you'd like to do this tag, don't wait to be tagged. Just do it, it's fun. All right, that's it. That's the scoop. Thank you so much for watching. And maybe you know a little bit more about me now. I don't know. So that's it. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.